Hi right, YouTube, Fuzz here. Today we're going to be taking on a new boss known as Fenrir here in Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age as we continue on through Pharos. Fenrir is quite an interesting boss battle because even though you know you're doing it as part of the main story so he's only level 49 he's actually got a whole bunch of health about 200,000 so he can take a bit of time to get him defeated but from the blue save crystal here in the area known as reach of the damned we're just going to head down south and make our way over to the next area there's nothing else to do in this particular area with the save crystal there's no treasures or anything to collect but there are some treasures in the next area where the boss is located so we'll head on up to the ancient door and you're going to probably want um, somebody who can buff with haste since he's got so much health this boss the quicker you can get through it the better and also make sure you have the spell ready and if you're quite low level make sure your tank uh, who's probably going to have decoy on him decoy sorry and uh, bubble belt if possible has a shield as well I do as you can see Varn is my tank he's using the Kumbar and the Gendar I'm gonna go ahead I'm not gonna bother stealing from this guy. He's not got anything too exciting uh, we're going to give him the Genji gloves as well just to help out with those combos so the first two treasures are located just before the boss room so we're going to haste a Garmote and a Muramasa that's another Muramasa we collected one in the last episode where did I get that from? oh we stole it uh, from an enemy which I didn't actually show in the video but that will be in another video so when you're ready then open the door but make sure you are prepared of course so I'm just going to go ahead and go to bash here we'll turn on Hastigar and I'm even going to put Berserk on Van just to boost up his damage there and then Ash can go ahead and decoy and bravery and then also Shalgar and protect so she's going to cast decoy and bravery onto Van and then she's going to shout and protect the entire party so let's go ahead and open the door before Van gets Berserk I'm not sure if he can even do it then He's got an interesting look to him, this guy, hasn't he? So straight away we're going to start laying on the damage. And if you can get your buffs going. And look at the damage that Vance putting out here. That is incredible. That's because of his Berserk, Bravery, Genji gear. Even 200k health isn't going to mean anything when you've powered up your team to that magnitude. Oh. If you want to know where I got that Kumbar weapon from, which, as you could see, was doing massive damage, then do check out the video I put out for that. It's in the playlist for this series. Sorry, guys. I wanted to show more of that guy. I had no idea he was going to drop that quickly. <laughs> that was insane. I don't even know if we finished getting our buffs off, did we? Maybe we did. Anyway, before we leave this area, there's a few more treasure chests we're going to want to pick up. So let's go ahead now and get rid of Bash's Berserk and, in fact, all the buffs. Since they're just going to waste time being cast over and over. I don't even think we needed them, did we? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we would have killed that guy even without Shout and Protect on our party. And let's just make somebody else party leader while Varn's got Berserk active. So where are these treasure chests holding out? Where are they? they? Seem to have disappeared. They should be around here somewhere in the corners. In fact, I'm sure we saw them, didn't we? Yeah, I'm sure we did. I'm not sure where those treasures have gone, but I'm not too concerned because they didn't really have anything that exciting within them. Um, I think they have an X potion, a Phoenix down, a cure remote, and some other healing item as well. So nothing too exciting, but we're just going to go and make our way around here. And I believe there's a couple of chests that can also spawn. 
on the other side of this door, so we'll go and open this first of all. And we'll see if they've shown themselves. We seem to be quite chestless at the moment, don't we? So there could have been a chest there. And the second one has actually spawned for us. So we'll go and loot the X potion from that place. And now we have to, I believe, select the right altar. There's different altars here. And we need to raise the elevator. So here we have the altar of knowledge. Bear that in mind. But we have the other altars as well. The altar of magics. Basically, you need to hit the altar that you chose at the start of your journey into the second ascent. So since we use the altar of knowledge, we're going to select that at this particular point in time. And this is going to raise the elevator for us. Here it comes. And our map is now back. Because we missed that so much, I'm sure. Well, not really. But hey. Uh, so. Where's the elevator? It must be on the other side. Let's just speed things up a bit. See if it's over here. There it is, look. So what we're going to want to do is step aboard and the, the Dias of Ascendance and select 67F, which is going to be our next destination. So at the elevator, we're just going to obviously activate it and select that floor, 67F. And we'll obviously get a bit of a cutscene for doing so. So I can drink some tea while we wait. And up we go. And after a bit of clattering, it looks like we've made it. So we have our next waystone, which will take us into the third ascent. And another save point as well, so let's make use of that. And this seems like a good place to take a break for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And I hope it's helped you as well, showing you how to just basically obliterate that boss, which I expected to take a little bit longer with Fenrir, having nearly 200k health. But by boosting up your main tank with Berserk Bravery and the Kumbar weapon, well, it just doesn't stand a chance, does it? So, <laughs> I hope you had fun watching, guys, and I hope you'll join me again soon. I look forward to it when we pick up Zodiac Age in the next episode. <laughs>